and brush. Yeah, sorry, it says the filbert brush. Getting them mixed up. It's easy to do. It's been a, been a long day. Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends, to another episode of Painting with Master Temple. I'm Dan, and thank you for joining me on this glorious day. It really is a beautiful day outside. Okay, we've got the canvas up on the easel. It's been coated top half with titanium white and linseed oil. And the bottom half is nice and dry, ready for us to, to create some lovely masterpieces on. But before we get on with the painting, please make sure you give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. So like I've said in the intro, up here we've got a little bit of linseed oil and titanium white mix. What I use is this, this Winsor & Newton Refined Linseed Oil and it's, it's purpose for oil painting. I've coated it to about here, okay. Down here is dry, but all right, and I want it to be dry, then we can layer wet paint on top of wet paint on top of wet paint. I don't want none of this slippy stuff down here because we'll be fighting the canvas and fighting the... Uh, the colour that we put down already. We don't want to be putting something down white and then trying to put black paint on top of it. It's going to change everything and make it slippy and hard for us. And we don't want to make things hard for us. Okay, so up here, I'm going to take just the brush that I applied the titanium white and linseed oil mixed. I'm going to grab a little bit of white and red and blue, plenty of blue. Nice, nice purpley colour. And I'm just going to come up here and I'm just going to put in a nice couple of shapes. Now, I haven't over mixed the paint, so we're going to get some purpley streaks in with this. I'm just going to dance in that just there. Just throw it in any old hour. Yeah, just down to about there. And the reason why it's wet up here, grab a bit of, oh, a bit of purple in that. The reason why it's wet up here is just so we can blend it a little bit better. Now, I might have a bit of water here, but it all goes well. So I might put some of that, that linseed oil and white mixed there. Well, I might not. I might not. Right, let's grab the big brush, okay? Make sure it's, it's dry. And I'm going to tease all this together. Just tease it all and blend it all. Because we've got a variance of colour up here. And we've got different different things happening already. That's absolutely amazing. And we've hardly done anything to it. Okay. Now we don't want to be fighting that paint. So just get in there and just just get some of this off. Just get it off there, right now. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up some under colour. So I'm gonna take some just some blue, light blue. So it's got a bit of that white in it, maybe a touch of black and a touch of umber. Okay, grab a bit of that white in there. Okay, this is just on the palette. And I'm going to put a distant mountain just about... It's been a long time since I've done a proper palette knife mountain, so I think we'll, we'll go with that today. There, there, there. You see, if you don't get that oil off the canvas that you put on, you're gonna, you're gonna not like me. Okay. So scrape it all, scrape it all off now. Can use a brush to pull it out. Oh, you can use your your rag. Okay. Just get in there and just just pull it out. And then you're not cleaning your brush, you see. Just get in there like that now. Pretty standard looking mountain shape. Just fill that bit in. The stain that's on this canvas is, is what we're basically a bit of blue and white. Not over mixing. Not over mixing. And I'm going to grab that little roll of paint and then on the shadow side. Now you want to be above the, the darkness and then you're just going to plow it in. Well, plow is probably the wrong term. Gently, gently tease it in. Just there like that. 
and because this is dry you can actually stroke your arm across it your fingers across it without getting lots of paint in your fingers makes a bit of sense because yeah, you want basically the palette knife to be almost flat flat to the canvas just tease a couple of these just in there like that doesn't matter if it's not so perfect because we're going to come back and tease some of this together blend some of this together drop some of that in there like that. that looks like a nice natural place for a highlight and don't worry about this straight line you don't want a straight line coming down that straight line we can we can work with a little bit of white on the palette knife and just drop it in just drop it in you start that line there as well there, like that and again let's go for it there work them down okay about there like that zigzag it's growing on us this mountain we're meant to be small but it's growing on us and a bit there like so it comes down and now allow it to break allow the paint to break maybe a little bit of a something there like that you can get carried away with these big old mounds you know <laughs> you really can okay but let's just grab this blender brush and just this now there's no paint down here to blend it into there's no white paint so you may need to take a touch and blend it in and lift it up okay let's go for another one then so because we've taken off all the oil up there we'll put another one up here i don't want zigzags though see how that looks two big zigzaggy things let's just change let's change it we'll change the direction and the flow in a minute there and just remove as much of this this paint as you possibly can the stain on the canvas is all we need and it's still wet it's still wet so we're still wet and wet painting right let's grab i'm going to get the little knife i think the little knife can do a lot more intricate work okay so a bit of white paint just white well it's got a little bit of blue in it but not not perfectly white i'm just going to put some snow up here just like that and pick up that color as well that's down here there don't know where it's going it's going somewhere and then there, yeah. There. Maybe the big knife might actually do the internals of this mountain a little bit better. But we shall see. We shall see. But there's something over there. And this one will it get something maybe about there like that maybe it comes down maybe it comes down contrast is a good thing isn't it the eye the human eye loves contrast dark onto white vice versa it's just the best contrast you can get Ooh, yeah, like that I'm going to just put some blues as well on the other, on the shadow side. Just like this. So just grab a bit of blue. <laughs> it seems ages ago since I last did one of these, uh, these mountains with a palette knife. And they're so much fun and so simple to do. 
and quick as well if you have got much time there we go so just mist it up a bit like that again this is dry I'm just taking a touch of white paint on the blender brush it's just a graduate blender brush that you can get in the uk from places like the range and you know, works and things like that so just blend that out there like so and then come back with our knife and then i'm just going to take a bit of that white paint just float it into that mist just there like so right that's it that's it yeah beautiful beautiful stuff so with the palest of pale green colors i'm just going to tap in a little something down here and then just lift up slightly just lift up not much don't want much at all just just a little something so it looks like a little bit of something some trees back there i don't want too much of a uh, a greenest cast but i don't want it a massive blue and white painting again <laughs> and plenty of those lately okay so we need to know where we're going with this so let's get some let's get a bit of blue on the brush and let's just gently put in where we want some some kind of watery effect maybe something i don't know yeah, uh, maybe, let me quickly nail okay some. so all i'm doing is just putting in a thin layer of uh, a bluey mist color just just down here and these are no brushes so i'm going to get lots of little little layers on there but i'm not too fussed about that and anyway so can you tell the difference between the blue on this mountain and the blue on that mountain this one's a lot more darker and stronger because this one's in more shadow than this one and we're just applying some of this blue shadowy snowy mist down here as well and i also put another little little peak just there just to stop your eye from dropping off the edge you might have to do something like that up here but we don't know we might have a tree growing there or not right so we're gonna have a little bit of some trees we want some more trees there and some evergreens here roughly about this long uh, to push it all back so i'll just finish whipping in this just just stain the canvas a little bit okay so let's just go for it there that's that's one <laughs> so sap green uh prussian blue and umber and we're just going to plot plot and we're just going to put some so some little evergreen trees just there just push them in don't make them like fence posts they'll make them all different sizes and shapes and on top of each other this is just on a hand brush and yeah, like that one we're going to add a paint reload resharpen so i'm just dabbing these trees now just with a just with a rag and trying to take off some of the excess oil and excess paint that we don't that we don't need on here just like that then it's going to be easier to to either miss the base or put highlights on and shadows on in fact we'll do that now we'll put some shadows here so a bit of white bit of blue on a little tiny fan brush and our shadow side is here so we can just put some little shadowy set little shadowy things that are just sneaking out there on this tree sticks a lot better doesn't it sticks a lot lot better a lot neater and we'll have someone here and we can highlight this as well might highlight this at the end different shape trees yeah looking good looking good i've just taken some linseed oil titanium white and a little bit of prussian blue mixed and put a little bit there it's, 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 and i wiped it all off as well i just want to make sure that it is a little bit damp down here because I'm, we're going to pull some reflections in okay so let's get some of that uh, color now we've got what's on this brush this looks like a dark greeny color so we'll pull some of this down straight down okay I've got a bit of lump of white there don't worry about that 
we're going to add more colors to this so we've got blues and whites to go on to this but I'll put some of that just like we did when we're when we did the trees we'll just add different colors layer colors on top of each other because this snowbank goes up there like that so you can tell but we'll just put something like that and then just gently go across the whole thing gently go across the whole thing hardly any pressure hardly any pressure like that and then we've got instant reflections take a step back and this bit looks a bit white so we might have to either put more white on the painting or take take some of this away okay i'm just touching with the fan brush just on the side like that and, and it and it leaves all nice little fuzzy pine needly things so just put a couple in like this and then with the corner of the fan brush just touch up push up push up and create all kinds of little fuzzy pine needle branches that i like so with it a bit of a skinnier one of the brush there's hardly any paint on it in fact quite dry well quite dry there Just push in more pressure more pressure as we get down to the base there like that like so i don't know what's going to go on down there i want a different kind of tree in the middle um maybe maybe um mm -mm, what, meh, i don't know i don't know but we'll put another one at this side so a bit more brown i think into this one so we'll just put pop it there we'll just touch and that'll give us a, a, a nice starter of those, those evergreens okay let's put a bit of white just out here on the highlight side of these fir trees just touch in just touch in just there where the snow would be well probably snow on the whole thing but <laughs> you know where the snow is brighter and then just feather it back into the tree And wipe your brush, reload. You don't want to take that dirty tree colour back. And then it's over top of that tree there. We've got a dead one there, and when uh, when the time comes, I'll I'll put some little twigs and stuff that are still hanging on, yeah, still hanging on out there. It's down there, I have that minute. One more there. Right, so we'll have some snow down here, I think. Little snowy covered bushes and things up there, but let's work on this big tree. Okay, so this is just this is just a bit of umber black. Touch of red, touch of blue. I'm just going to drop in big tree just here on this side. This little string. I don't know whether to case it all in or not. I'm not too sure just yet. It just needed something, a little something on this side. So I popped in a, a dark coloured tree with a fan brush and swirled out its edges and everything. And I've just dampened down some of this. Look at all that paint there. That'll be mixing with the highlight and shadow colours. And you don't really want that. And you see the colour is still in the canvas. Colour is still there. Right. And we'll work on this as well as some rocks as well. And then, then the rest of the blue. So we'll just come up there. Just put, put on some some snow that's collected on some of these that's sticking nice and easy because we dampened off 
dampened off all that, that dark colour there. And some foliage colours. Two or three different colours we'll put on. And brush, sorry, this is the filbert brush. Getting them mixed up. It's easy to do. It's been a, it's been a long day. Okay, up here, uh, we want some foliage of sorts. So we'll just start to tap in. Maybe this is a very tall one. A couple of branches that sneak off here. Just like that. <laughs> the rest of it's probably way, way off the canvas. You've got to be careful because it's still very quite, quite slick up here. So we don't want to go too crazy. We might block that with, with some, with some towels. Another one there. Right, that. And I'll put some snow on these as well. A little bit of shadow and stuff on, on here. Right, where do we want this to be? There, look. In that gap. Could do with something in that gap. We've got something in that gap. There, maybe darken it off a touch on the underside. There, just a filbert brush. Okay, let's let's work on these stones down in the foreground. So I've got basically a uh, a ready tanny colour on this big number six rounded brush, and I'm just going to just drop in some. Some colour just down here, like this. Plus, we need several different kinds of colour on on these stones. Yeah, you have a look at a you have a look at a stone. It's never just one flat, straight, dead colour. That'd be concrete. So we need to vary the colours, but we also need to vary the shades as well. I need to put a little something out there. Just to tie it all together, so we'll put more there like that. Then we'll put some of this colour just up there. You can make them jaggedy, or you can have them rounded over completely and utterly up to you. Sharp edges, soft edges. There, I think there's enough of that colour that side so we'll get some on this side so remember it's going to be about there it's slightly different shape i'll spend a few minutes just putting in some of these stones then without cleaning the brush i'm just gonna grab some shadowy colors just basically a, the same colour but added with a bit of blue and a bit of white there. Some shadows down here. Like that. Some up here. And obviously we'll need some sneaking in there like that and on to the other side we'll shape this rock a bit different and then with the excess just knocked out the brush on a paper towel just take it in a little bit more lighter color yeah this is just cad yellow and white. Just work on some zinging little eye lines up here. Bouncing across those stones. Uh, 
And it's good having it to blend, you see, you can blend oil paint. Yeah, like that. All right, let's put some shadowy snow on this greenery. Oh, there. So just on that filbert brush, just just above the green, just squeeze in. It's a little bit tough up here because this, again, like I've said all the way through, it's still got the linseed oil underneath, so it's a little bit harder to get it to stick. So if that's the case, glop it on. We're going to put nothing on top of this now, so we'll just get a big wad of paint and pop it on load a big load of white paint right on the edge there and then just tap it in to the bristles and the pine needles let's mm. grab some more dark paint and just tap in a few shadowy things under the snow just there and i think we're about finished well wow that really was enjoyable getting the palette knife back out and using that for the mountain and i think you'll enjoy painting this picture and if you give it a go please tag me in a photograph on the, on the, on facebook or email me the links to my socials are down in the description but if you've enjoyed this one please give me a big old thumbs up Leave me a nice big comment, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, happy days.